Christmas morning in Columbia, Mississippi, and Linda Bolton's family has gathered not to open gifts around the tree, but to salvage them from the rubble. We've lost everything, the toys, the for, for your children, the gifts for your wives, or husband, whatever the case may be. When that wind came through, man, it took everything. Linda was inside her home as it was ravaged by the EF3 tornado just two days before Christmas. I've never seen nothing like it. You just think it's, that's, that's it. You really think that's the end. And then the fear just went away and uh, everything was over. You know, and I was still standing, I was still here. Her home was one of 12 lived in by close relatives along this half mile stretch of road. Every one of them was damaged or destroyed by the storm. My uncles, auntie, grandparents, first cousins, second cousins, it wiped us completely out. You know, some people can take a loss and go to the other family member's house, but we all live around each other. We didn't have nowhere to go. Soon after the tornado struck, the first response team of America began a 17-hour, thousand-mile drive from Lancaster, Pennsylvania, and arrived in Columbia on Christmas Eve. I just knew that on Christmas morning, people were gonna be out in their rubble, looking for their belongings and trying to save anything they could, and I just knew I wanted the first response team to be there. That's really what we're built for, that's what we're designed for, to respond at a moment's notice, any time of the year, to communities in need. On Christmas Day, the team went to work for the Bolton. <laughs> sacrificing their holiday Good, to help the family start over. If we weren't here, these families would be left with trying to figure out how to clean up this debris by themselves, literally with their hands. When they see it being cleaned up and the rubble being removed, they instantly begin to find hope. That's just a blessing. I mean, you, you just can't find, you can find people like that every day. Columbia marked the first deployment for Nya Chow, the newest member of the team. This team is being supportive and just letting people know it's okay. You know, we're, we're here to help let us come in with this heavy equipment and just, you know, do what it might take 20 people to do in a, in a week, what we can do in a day. Nas has been doing a tremendous amount of training with the team members the last few months, but this was her first real experience at a disaster. Driving trucks and trailers, running heavy equipment, and all that training paid off. She had all the raw talent that was needed to help people, as well as the heart. While this was far from a typical Christmas, the Bolton family received a precious gift one that didn't come boxed and wrapped in a bow. The Christmas spirit is still, it's in your heart. It's a Christmas every day with me. The lives that are here, that means more than the gifts that were lost. It makes Christmas better, it really does.